Okay, folks, what you're looking at there is uh, one of my seed grown Jubea chilensis palms. Uh, this is uh, a palm grown from very good seed source. I had the seed sent to me um, from Lucarno, Switzerland. There's very old Jubea chilensis palms growing in Lucarno, Switzerland. That's southern Switzerland, close to the Italian border. Um, the most cold hardy species of pinnate um, palm is right here, Jubea chilensis. Much more cold hardy than Butea capitata. They like a drier uh, climate, low humidity, and uh, in the summer months, I don't think they will thrive uh, in a high heat, high humidity situation, although I have heard of them. Uh, one growing in South Carolina years ago, and I don't know if it's still there, but uh, this palm does well in Southern California, Northern California, and in our climate here in the Southern Gulf Islands. There's two nice ones growing in town. Uh, one was planted in 1999, the other one around 2006. Uh, you can see the uh, fronds splitting here. It's never had winter damage. I planted this one about, I guess, going on seven years now. And uh, I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the trunk and give you an idea how big the trunk is on it. You can see that in there. I'm put my hand around it. They get really big. It's about this big at the base, something like that. So um, these get really, really massive trunks on them. <clears throat> I put a bit of um, uh, coast redwood uh, needles around it there, so. I always do that as a precaution, but uh, as you can see, there's no damage on this palm. We had a low temperature of 22.1 degrees Fahrenheit. I used to have another one in the ground for about 10 years, and I did a really stupid thing. I dug it out and moved it to another location of the garden, and uh, then I went away to Hawaii for a few weeks, and it got neglected, no water, and it declined after that, so I should have just left it alone. So anyway, if you live in a similar growing zone, <coughs> try a Chubea chilensis. A Chilean wine palm, they are native to Chile, and they actually, in time, but not in my time, will produce edible fruit, like a mini coconut, but it takes many years. They get a massive trunk on them. Plant them in full sun and well-draining soil, and you will be good to go with this palm. All right, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, like I say, try one in your, own good, in your own garden, and you can buy them in nurseries just south of Vancouver, but they're very, very expensive. Big trees caught, um, fetch a hefty price created ones you're going to pay a fortune for. All right, cheers.